Well, as luck had it, the church was open for wandering souls to wander into and do whatever is appropriate in a church. Perhaps to pray, perhaps to contemplate, or if your name's Harry Faber, perhaps to take a look at the stained glass. And of course English churches are very, very good for stained glass. And well, yes, you would expect St. Clement, wouldn't you? And St. James and St. Thomas. I always think St. Thomas gets a bit of a bad press, doesn't he? You know, that's a, a be careful what you do in life because forevermore we think of him as doubting Thomas. But of course, Thomas came to faith. Thomas had no doubts. St. Margaret. We turn and there's, there's somebody's bust. I suppose I need to get a little bit closer to work out who that is. Bear with me a moment. Well, that's Robert Salmon. The inscription is in Latin and because of the light I'm actually having trouble reading it. But isn't this a gorgeous church? That's nice how worked into the stained glass is a picture of a lee cockle boat and a fisherman. Very difficult working out if the camera is properly catching this. This is a brass plaque underneath this wonderful window. And what it says is this window was offered to the church in affectionate memory of W.J. Cockrove, fisherman, who was drowned December the 11th, 1874, in his 21st year. Now some of you may recall that I filmed a fat buttress in St Mary the Virgin at Benfleet. Well here we have a fat buttress in St Clement's in Leon C. And it's a spiral staircase that takes us up to this window or this doorway. And at one time there would have been a little balcony announcements or singing or music would be played from. And the space before the high altar is in many ways very, very different to St Mary's. There is no screen 
between the nave and the altar. And I do wonder, um, I've never been to a service in this church, but I suspect that they face the congregation whilst they serve communion. And there is a high altar with a rather wonderful looking altar piece. more intimate small altar look at the gorgeous carving on this screen 